Hello, everybody. Luis Garcia from the Ponder All podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about Obi-Wan Kenobi, the new Disney Plus Star Wars series starring Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen. I stayed up late last night after watching Top Gun Maverick, and I wanted to watch at least one of these episodes. Stranger Things season four is also also premiered last night at midnight. Uh, I'm going to binge that this weekend because I am spending Memorial Day weekend solo. And that was a choice I made. And I think that was a good choice because the weather is shitty. And uh, I've been kind of tired. And I think recentering with a lot of sci fi, copious amounts of caffeine will do me good. But real quickly, I want to do a quick non-spoiler review of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, You're in for a treat. The show wastes no time in not only catching people up uh, to where Obi-Wan is currently in exile on Tatooine, kind of keeping an eye on little baby or uh, little Luke, as we call them. But the action gets started like right away. We're caught up pretty quickly introduced to the main heroes and villains and see some really cool familiar faces the show is definitely going to be intense it is taking place during a time that we've only heard about in the star wars movies and uh canon and really dives deep and there's an extra special surprise which i thought i would see coming or i thought was coming but in the first episode it definitely happens and it's a treat the show is definitely starting out strong and i cannot wait to see what they do with this show i also cannot wait to see darth vader back i hear there's a matchup happening it's a little odd because in a new hope they kind of allude to their last fight i guess they're kind of shoving this fight and this series in there it wasn't the one that we saw on that lava planet in revenge of the sith and that's okay by all means please bring hayden back um it's gonna be awesome so definitely check out obi-wan kenobi on disney plus definitely check out top gun maverick i dropped my review on that last night and i'll be doing a stranger things series review including uh, season four here shortly and i'm enjoying the podcast i'm enjoying the reviews uh, I had a friend, well, not really a friend, but a friend of a friend say, where do you find time to watch all of this content? Well, uh, big shocker, uh, if you look around, the world is kind of in a shitty place, has been for the last two and a half years. And also, I'm a filmmaker. This stuff inspires me. I like doing it. I like talking about film. I love the TikTok review community. They're all very non-pretentious for the most part, folks. There's a few in there that, no comment. But for the most part, I've made a new community of friends and that has not been easy to do. As you know, I left Portland, Oregon in the middle of the pandemic in November of 2020 and moved to be closer to my kids um, and their mom up in Eastern Washington, Northern Idaho. Now that was always a plan as a family to do that. But with the pandemic and Portland literally being a city on fire, downtown where I was living, uh, that kind of sped things along, let's say, without a lot of planning and without a lot of time to make connections, especially since I've been working from home since being in Spokane. So the challenge has been to make a new community out here. Slowly but surely, I'm making some friends. And the good thing is, is I'm getting a lot of time to reflect on the kind of people I want to be around, the kind of people that inspire me and you know make me a better person and uh i can kind of be picky and juicy uh but people are nice up here so it can't really cool so yeah definitely check out obi-wan kenobi definitely check out top gun maverick stranger things season four is out and also bob's burgers movie uh is out so i hope you guys have a safe memorial day weekend be alert uh i don't really want to get into everything that's going on with Texas and Uvalde, Uvalde or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, 
all I got to say is definitely love your uh, hug and love your loved ones. And I hope we can turn this whole gun control issue with some common sense laws. Um, and I won't get into the politics of the Second Amendment and all that bullshit. It just needs to stop, stop happening. I mean, it's fucking time. It's been fucking time for a while. Stop shooting people. Stop buying guns and killing people. Fucking seems pretty easy, right? Um, we're the only country that has as big of a problem as it is. So there's a reason for that. There's a reason for everything. Uh, cause and effect. So it's a problem. We should handle it. Um, be safe. Say a prayer for all those that have lost loved ones and keep your keep your loved ones and the people that give you the time of day, the people that make the time for you. Put, put them at the top of the priority list because people's time and the time that they give you is literally gold and it's not something we should take for granted because you never know when that person may not be there enough of that rambling uh thank you so much for watching the show let me know what you think in the comments and check us out on twitter at the pondercast and on tiktok at the ponder all podcast and also on instagram the patreon has like one subscriber thank you so much for being so loyal um yeah make content be happy and remember to ponder all